Colossus is the most advanced lineup optimizer in daily fantasy sports. Lock and exclude players. Adjust player exposure to reduce risk of injury or poor performance. Customize individual projections or upload your own projections. Generate hundreds of optimal lineups in seconds. Name and save the best lineups. Create winning lineups for the top sites like DraftKings and FanDuel for free at DailyFantasyCafe.com. Hello and welcome to the FanDuel Punch-Out. I'm Big Italy 42 here talking about tonight's small five-game slate. So this one will be short and sweet. Fortunately for you, for me, maybe not for everyone, but there is a course field game today with an 11-run total. So that's where we're going to be deriving most of our offensive action from. But first off, we got to start talk about starting pitchers. And that's going to bring me to my favorite play of the day, Jordan Zimmerman. $9,300. He's facing off against Atlanta. And this guy is a monster, minus 250 favorite tonight. He's been solid over the past 30 days with a 25% strikeout rate, 3.1% walk rate. Has allowed more home runs than he'd like, but one of those games was three home runs allowed at Coors Field. So not buying completely into those numbers. Not giving up much hard contact during that span, 24.4%. And like I mentioned, that uh, that strikeout rate, uh, higher than it had been earlier in the season. So it's won three straight games. Got to imagine with Matt Whistler on the other side, who has not been very good, and that anemic offense that is um, worst in the league or bottom three in just about every offensive category over the past 30 days. Jordan Zimmerman, for me, makes a lot of sense. He's going to be my top cash game option. I also like Francisco Liriano, but I'm also a little bit leery of him because uh, $10,600 is $1,300 more than Jordan Zimmerman. And obviously, he's a guy who's still a favorite, but he's not a huge favorite. Minus 145 right now, and it's been dropping. Uh, total from 7.5 up to 8 now. Facing off against a Milwaukee team that has also not been a very good offense over the past 30 days. But an offense that does have some firepower, some guys that hit lefties well. And Liriano has been struggling over the past 30 days. You look at what he's been doing. A 19.2% strikeout rate. You don't like the walks. Have been a major concern. Again, he had mitigated that a little bit earlier in the season. But recently, 12% walk rate over the past 30 days. Not going to get it done. His ground ball rate, which is normally at an elite level, well over 50%, just 446 through that span. So still not giving up a lot of hard contact, but he's going deep in accounts. He's not pitching as deep in games as I would like him to. And at that price tag tonight, I think it just makes more sense to go with Jordan Zimmerman. I don't blame you if you go with Liriano, but uh, I think Zimmerman is the play, at least for me. Other options you can consider, the other side of that, Taylor Youngman, a guy who has had a couple of bad starts, but for the most part been very, very consistent. Double digits in all but two of his last 10 starts. And his numbers over the past three days have been great. 27.3% strikeout rate. You worry a little bit with the walk rate, 10%, but swing strike rate, strike rate near 10%. So this is the guy who's been getting it done, $8,800 tonight. He's a guy that I think is more of a GPP option because he is facing up against Liriano, and that is a tough offense in Pittsburgh, albeit inconsistent. So that's a guy I'm looking at as well. Not much else to see on this slate. If you had to have one more guy, I'm not going to be going Edison Volquez against the Tigers. I think he's an okay option, but not a guy that I love. I'd rather go with a cheaper guy that I think does have upside. That's Matt Latos. Another one of these guys who has not pitched well. In fact, he hasn't pitched um, through the fifth inning in any of his last three starts. One of those didn't get a single strikeout. But this is an anemic offense in San Diego that's been one of the worst in baseball for quite some time now. Obviously, Matt Kemp, Justin Upton, those two guys getting it done, especially Kemp himself. But, you know, for me, I think if I have to choose a cheap guy, that's the guy I'll be going with tonight. It's so minus 141 favorite is in Petco Park, seven and a half run total. Um, he's got the Dodgers offense behind him, which should be putting up some some numbers on Colin Ray tonight, who has not been very good. Only a three-run total for San Diego tonight. So I think if you need a cheap option, that's the way you go. I'm not touching any of these other guys. All right, moving over to catcher. We get Buster Posey against a lefty at Coors Field, and a bad lefty in that at Chris Rusin, who is awful against lefties and righties. So Buster Posey, easily your top option to catcher, and it is not even close. $4,400, though, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny for him. If you cannot afford him... Uh, John DeLucroy is a guy who's been mashing the ball. He does get a matchup against Liriano. Certainly not a cash game play. He's GPP only for me, but he's in play. Same price, Nick Hundley, guy who's got some great numbers against righties this year. Facing off against Vogelsong, who is much better against righties than lefties, but definitely uh, the course field effect should be uh, taken away a little bit of his appeal. Uh, Sal Perez is another guy I like. 
He's been awful against lefties this year, to put it quite honestly. But on the opposite side, Matt Boyd has been even worse against righties and lefties. So $2,400, if you need a cheap piece of that. Uh, Kansas City does have a four-and-a-half run team total, which is among the highest on the night. So if you want a cheap catcher, I think that's the way I'll be going. You could look at Victor Martinez at men's salary because he is Victor Martinez, but at this point, he's just a name. He's been horrible recently. Not a guy I would even want to spend the roster spot on. One more guy you can consider is Monty Grandall, $2,200. Another guy who's been really bad. In fact, has not had a hit in any of his last eight games, but men's salary against Colin Ray has been struggling. Maybe this is the game where he gets it going. I don't mind taking a couple shots on that on him in some tournaments tonight. First base options. You're looking at Coors Field bats, and as you look at the top, you see Brandon Belt, but Brandon Belt is awful against left-handed pitchers, so this is not a guy that I'll be really targeting tonight. Um, obviously, it's tempting with a guy like this in Coors Field, but $4,700, when you see who he is priced similar, similarly to, I'm not touching Brandon Belt. Um, I mean, I, I guess... Awful is an exaggeration. He does have a 354 Wolpa against lefties, but throughout his career, he's not a very good hitter against lefties. So for me, I'm not paying up for Brandon Belt. If I'm paying uh, for anybody, it's going to be Ben Paulson at $3,400. I think he's your easy chalk play here against Ryan Vogelsong and his 374 Wolpa allowed to lefties. Um, that's the way I'll be going there. Um, like I said, Belt a GPP play because he's much better against right handed pitchers. Certainly, he's a guy you can consider um, because Rusin is awful against lefties as well. But uh, for me, it's going to be Ben Paulson. Easy choice there for cash games. I think he's going to be incredibly high-owned on this short slate. A couple other guys, Ryan Zimmerman. Talked about him last night. Two homers. This guy continues to mash the ball. Gets Matt Whistler, who is awful against lefties. Not, not bad against righties, but definitely a guy that I'm going to be picking on anyway. Um, Adrian Gonzalez, still a value play at $3,100 against Colin Ray. I don't think he's a bad option. Then uh, nobody cheap I'm really trying to target here. Um, you're not playing Adam Lind against the lefty. Will Rosario gets the right. He probably won't even let Only other guy I'm really looking at is uh, Kendris Morales against the lefty and Boyd. Uh, Morales, now homers in back-to-back -back games, multi-hits in four of his last seven. It's the guy that doesn't have great numbers against lefties, an ISO barely of 100, but definitely a guy I'll be considering. Second base options, if you're paying up, it's Ian Kinsler for me against Volquez. Ian Kinsler has a Wolba north of 400. And an ISO well over 200 in the second half. The guy's been crushing the ball, so I'm looking at him. Kelby Tomlinson, if he's batting the top half of the order, not a particularly great hitter, but in a small sample size, 200 ISO uh, against left-handed pitching. So that's a guy you could certainly be looking at. It's a decent price for him, considering he's in Coors Field, so I don't mind that. Anthony Rendon, $3,200. I'm still sticking with some of these Nationals bats. they got a nice high team total, like I mentioned, so that's a guy that I'll be targeting as well. Other guys, Chase Utley is probably your cheap play, your cheap chalk play at $2,500. Homer in his last game, he's been good, albeit not great, um, since he's coming over. I saw about 200 in the second half, so you don't mind that. Really nobody cheap that I'm targeting. For me, it's Utley if I'm paying down. If not, I'm going up with uh, Kinsler, Kelby Thomason. You can consider DJ LeMahieu as well. Obviously, like I said, Vogel song better against righties, but this is still course field, and uh, DJ LeMahieu does hit right-handed pitching very well. Third base options, it is Nolan Arenado, and it's nobody else, if you ask me. I've got to have Nolan Arenado in my lineup here. He is absolutely crushing right-handed pitching this year. An ISO over 300. He's homered in three straight games. Seven hits in that span. I'm not worried about Vogelsong being worse against lefties. Arenado is easily your top play, and it's not close. Uh, Matt Duffy, another guy you can consider. He's only $3,100 tonight against Chris Rusin. I mentioned Rusin bad against everyone. Duffy has not been good against left-handed pitching this season, but... He's in play because he does have a cheap price tag at this position. And considering Nolan Arenado will likely have some of the highest ownership of any player tonight, you're going to have to swerve somewhere. I don't mind doing that. Another swerve, Justin Turner, $2,700. Incredible numbers against righties this year. Mentioned Colin Ray again. You're going to hear a lot of these same pitchers because there's not very many on the board. But that's another guy I'm looking at. Nick Castellanos, another guy you can consider. He's been better against righties than lefties. But he's certainly in play for your tournaments. And uh, then one more guy. If uh, if he is playing tonight, you can consider um, Josh Harrison against Taylor Youngman. You don't know if he's going to be in or not, but Josh Harrison, definitely a guy that for $2,400 can provide you with a little bit of everything at a, a low cost. And you want to find some off-the-board kind of guys, and uh, I think that he provides that for you if he's in the lineup tonight. Shortstop options. There's two that you really want. Jose Reyes at 4300 Switch hitter against Vogelsong. 
actually hitting very well recently, so you got to like him. Brandon Crawford, if he's in the lineup, it's a lefty-lefty matchup, which may scare some people off, but Crawford has been very good against lefties. 171 ISO, so he's a guy that does have some upside, some power. Dealing with a calf injury, so definitely check and see if he's in the lineup before you lock him in, but I'm looking his way as well. Um, Ian Desmond in tournaments at 3400 I don't like the price, but like I said, you're going to have to swerve. If Brandon Crawford doesn't play, you assume that Ahiri Adrianzo will be playing. Not a very good hitter. Not much upside with this guy, but if you need a filler at $2,800, I think you can do much worse. John Segura, $2,500 against Liriano. Another tournament option. Had another big game last night. Four-plus FanDuel points at four straight. So he's a guy who's hitting the ball really well right now. I mentioned that Liriano is struggling a little bit, so I don't mind looking that way in a couple spots also. Outfield options. I'm going to give you my take here on the one player you have to have in your lineups tonight. I don't think it's Nolan Arenado. I think it's Carlos Gonzalez. $4,700. Vogel song, $374. Woba to lefties. Cargo with an ISO and Woba, each north of 400 in the second half. Two homers, seven RBIs last night. This is the most obvious play of the night. There's no way I will be playing any lineups without Carlos Gonzalez, unless I'm just fading him in tournaments. But that's the guy you got to have. He's easily the top option. Um, other options for you, Bryce Harper, if he's in the lineup, he had some left glute tightness. If he's in the lineup tonight, Matt Whistler has been horrible against left-handed batters this season, allowing a 444 wall by nine home runs in just over 34 innings. So uh, if he's in the lineup, Bryce Harper, an elite play there. Charlie Blackman, of course, a, another lefty against Vogelsong. All these lefties for Colorado, get your shares of them. Marlon Bird smashes left-handed pitching. He gets course field and Chris Rusin today at 4,500. Don't overlook him either. And then uh, as you're looking for other options, one more guy who's also day-to-day. -day, um, he sat out yesterday's game as a precaution. They don't believe his injury to be serious. They were up by nine runs when it happened. You assume he'll be in the lineup. And if he is, $3,500 Lorenzo Cain, quite possibly the best value play I've seen all season against Matt Boyd, who was just been terrible in the major leagues. I'll be playing a ton of Lorenzo Cain if he's in the lineup tonight. I definitely love him. Um, you can look at the guys, Kemp, Upton. Kemp, just like I said, he's mashing the ball in the second half. Upton has been pretty good, not great, but he certainly has upside as well. So Padres outfielders could be a sneaky stack for you there. Ryan Braun, another guy that continues to hit well. He now has three straight games with at least five and a half points. Gets a lefty. It is Liriano, so uh, you know, take that with a grain of salt there, but certainly a guy you're considering. Gregory Polanco at $3,300. Struggled over his past four games, but we saw that stretch where he was on an absolutely torrid pace, so I expect him to get it going once again. And then looking at some cheaper options, there's not a whole lot. Outfield is a place I will be paying for. Gregory Polanco, if he's in the lineup, lefty-lefty matchup, you don't love that, but $2,500 for a piece of Coors Field. Not a bad way to go there. Johnny Gomes had a nice game last night. As a platoon guy, gets a lefty once again. You assume he'll be in the lineup, probably batting sixth. Maybe he gets a bump if Lorenzo Cain sits out, maybe moves up to fifth or fourth. But we'll see what happens with that. And outside of that, I'm not paying down for any of these other guys except for Andre Ethier. $2,200 now. Had, did struggle a couple times recently. But, I mean, men's salary for guys crushing righties on the season. This is just a guy that I will be targeting every time I need value. So uh, that's going to wrap things up. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our great content at dailyfantasycafe.com.